This time I'm going to make a little mini album um, documenting the lockdown and the current things that have been going on in the last few weeks. This month's theme is using old stash with new and for this album I've got some, um, some really old Kaiser Craft and some old rainbowy paper which I thought would be quite nice this is about a year old I suppose it's um, it's simple stories is that it? yeah simple stories and some dear Lizzie I also have this pink fresh which I thought would go with it this is fairly new, um, but I've used quite a lot of it, but I quite like the sticker sheet, which I'll use for embellishing pages and these. Um, that is, I think that's Echo Park. Uh, no, Cartabella, Cartabella, and that's called Oh Happy Day as well. And then I have some new stash that I bought a couple of months ago, maybe, maybe only a month ago, not a couple of months. Um, and it's got these cute little houses so that is um jen hadfield uh this is family so i've got that one and i've got this one which has those cute little envelopes and snails on it and a nice pink on the back and then also i think this is an amy tangerine um set of hearts glittery hearts and it out, you'll be able to see how glittery it is. So it's kind of glittery hearts. So I'm going to use all of those to make a back to back album. So I'm going to do a 4x4 four four back to back album, and um, you'll see as I go along, but I'll just explain it quickly. So to do a 4x4, four four, you would cut a piece of paper that was 4 inches tall and 8 inches wide, you'd fold it in half. Then you cut another piece that is the same size and you stick that onto the top. So all of your pages are doubled up sheets of paper, but it will become more evident as I make it. So the first thing I need to do is cut some 4 by 8 pieces of paper. Uh, I've started constructing my book and I'll show you how I've gone about it. So I've scored the piece of paper at four inches, folded it in half, and this will then be glued onto the page below, and that's why it's called a back-to-back -back book. I'm using really cheap, um, I think it's probably children's craft glue that I got in Asda, because I prefer to use that than red tape for a project like this as it gives you a little bit of wiggle room so there we go I'll screw the next one and pop that one on and I'll carry on and then show you what's up on it okay
I have a piece of thin chipboard for the covers and I'm going to cut two pieces that are five by four and a half. So the covers go like that to give the book a little bit of dimension and then what I'm going to do is cover the outsides with this little house paper. So I'm going to cut some pieces the same size as that and pop them on. So here I have my finished book with the covers and the, the pages. They're a bit, a bit wonky because I've used too much wet glue but once I've put the rest of it together it'll be fine. I have cut some photo mounts to go inside and sorted out various bits and pieces as you can see to make up my pages. So here is my little lockdown album. Um, I put some black ribbon on it to hold it together a little bit because it's rather chunky and I'll just walk you through it. On the first page I put um, a little bit of information about how lockdown has affected us um, and I said fortunately I'd anticipated this and drove to Newcastle returning home on the 23rd of March which was when lockdown started from then on we restricted ourselves to only essential trips out for food and once a day walks and that's my husband walking our puppy Darcy the next page explains about how I worked from home for two weeks and then was furloughed um, and that's me and Darcy again trying to work from home with her on my lap. This page here explains how much I'm missing our daughter and I printed out um, a Google Maps of from our home to hers with it saying that it's 290 miles so that was the weekend we Last weekend we spent together before lockdown. We've taken both dogs out for a walk on the beach. This one is um, about the crafts that I've done, how I've revisited some crafts that I haven't done for a while and continued with others. And I've put them in this little pocket, which I made. So the next page is this one is uh, that's my daughter in a mask that my friend Janice made and it's all about how so many people rallied around when she hadn't got goggles Sue sent her goggles um, Lindsay sent her scrub bags and it's how all my friends really rallied around to help her out in her job this one is about Darcy the puppy um, Darcy was only trying to think maybe four or five months old when lockdown started and so she hasn't really been able to socialise with other dogs um, and that's a shame really because she goes absolutely wild whenever she sees another dog. These cards are some that I saw on my friend Hilary's Instagram page and she makes them and sells them on her Etsy shop so I got five and sent them to various people um, so, and there are people that I genuinely do wish lived next door. I am missing contact with my friends over this time. This page is about how Gracie spent her 27th birthday in lockdown. Normally her and Josh take the day off work when it's her birthday or his birthday and they either drive to the Lake District or do something nice. But all they could do this time was um, sit in the garden and have a takeaway pizza. This page is all about um, my husband David and all the work that he does on the house. He was sent one of the letters to say that he couldn't work for 12 weeks. He had to self-isolate for 12 weeks and he spent the whole of that time working on the house. Um, He's rebuilt the back chimney, he's prepared the lounge that he's renovated ready for painting um, and he does work ceaselessly 
to get the house done. Uh, this one is about how he actually had a really bad accident whilst working on the house. Um, he cut his hand very badly which resulted in us having to rush him to A&E and then take him to Broomfield for plastic surgery. So and that's got a picture of the wound which I don't really want to show you. The penultimate page is about Gracie and Josh. Um, on the 6th of May it was a year until they get married and they're still unsure whether they will be able to get married or not and they were hanging off um, putting stuff together but the, they've now decided that they will get it all sorted and what will be will be so that was the photo she put on Instagram when it was a year until they get married and finally this is my daughter Gracie um, she's training to be a GP at the moment but whenever they need her in A&E she goes and works in A&E so this is just a page saying how she does work ceaselessly to help others so that's my little lockdown life book um, I hope you have a go at making one that would be lovely if you show us if you do because it really is a simple book to construct <laughs>